Now, only at Lowe's, get a Samsung 27 cubic foot French door refrigerator. It has 10% more storage and is $700 less. Now just $16.99. Because every weekend is a holiday weekend at Lowe's with our everyday special values. Plus, we're offering 12 months special financing for qualifying appliance purchases when you use your Lowe's Advantage card. Credit offer valid through 224, subject to credit approval. Minimum purchase and monthly payments required. Offer valid 24 through 224. See store or Lowe's.com for details, U.S. only. That savor every last bite of your hot and savory sausage McMuffin with egg until you sadly realize there's nothing left. So then you look around to make sure that no one's watching so that you can eat the cheese off of the wrapper feeling. It's what McDonald's breakfasts are all about. Get two sausage McMuffin with egg sandwiches for just $4 at McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Prices and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Single item at regular price. The lying, the dishonesty, I wouldn't even call it hypocrisy of what we see on a daily basis from both federal and state governments reaches new highs. It's unbelievable. Notwithstanding all the people that Governor Andrew Cuomo killed in New York, and I'm looking at the lawsuit right now, potential class action lawsuit, to sue him because he's not immune from this. You don't get government immunity for committing crimes, and that's what he did. Even his own party can't deal with him anymore. This individual, who is most likely connected with persons involved with the mafia, his dad was. I knew that because I had clients in Queens, Mario Cuomo. Clearly, they had those connections. I'm not saying they were mafia, but they have them. This is what sustained this guy in office all these years, and he's got a really nice way of talking. His dad did as well. So does Chris Cuomo on CNN's. Chris Cuomo defamed my client, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, who's let off the hook by Judge Royce Lambert in Washington, D.C., who's lost his nerve. Not the same judge that I remember in the 1990s. But this is what we're dealing with today. And then, of course, you've got what's going on at the southern border with refugees flooding across national security risks. They already retained 11 Iranians a couple weeks ago that were running across the border. You can bet what they had in mind. And this is what we're dealing with. The country is going up literally in flames. The judicial system will not address it. The federal judges protect themselves, not the American people. As Jefferson said, they're no more honest than anyone else, but they're supposed to be more honest than the rest. Our legal system is the most corrupt and our legal profession the most corrupt in this country, as well as in the world, frankly, that's just the way it is. Most of the people who occupy Congress are lawyers. I'm a lawyer. I'm the anti-lawyer. I know what I'm dealing with for 44 years. It's an absolute disgrace. It's criminal in and of itself. The Supreme Court abandons the president of the United States. The same justices that he picked wouldn't even give him a hearing. It's not even a question of ruling in his favor. They wouldn't even give him a hearing. And this is what we're dealing with today. Everybody's running for the exits. People are being banned from social media more and more every day. YouTube, we've got a case in front of the Supreme Court this week to see if they'll accept certiorari on Friday with regard to breaking up these big tech companies and holding them accountable for discrimination against conservatives and others, people of faith, libertarians, others. The country is no longer in control of the people. And that's why I wrote the book, we Must Rise Up, and the book's entitled It Takes a Revolution, Forget the Scandal Industry. It's a play on Hillary's It Takes a Village. I'm not looking to a village. I'm looking for village people, actual people, to rise up and wage a peaceful and legal revolution with citizens' grand juries, which we are beginning again. We've already indicted Mueller. That was last year. But on March 17th, we will seek the indictment of Joe Biden, his son Hunter, and his brother Frank for massive bribery from China, Ukraine and Russia. And then we'll go on to Comey. We'll go on to Clapper and Brennan. We'll go on to the Lovebirds. We'll go on to the Obamas and the Clintons. We'll go on to Mitch McConnell, who also took illegal money from communist China years ago. It's not too late. As far as we're concerned, there's no statute of limitations. The people will finally bring about justice on their own. And then we're going to do a continental convention in Philadelphia in Memorial Day of this year and talk about creating a new government. And we're actually going to create a new government and we're going to set up elections that are fair and free without fraud, 
elect representatives who aren't bought and paid for by special interest groups and lobbyists who aren't stuffing money into their pocket, a way to select judges that are accountable to the American people, elected other safeguards, take away their immunity, make it clear they have no immunity and neither do government officials, and to make sure that in our constitution there's discrimination on the basis of ideological belief in addition to race, religion, ethnicity, and sex. So this is what we're up to. The American people have a big task ahead of us. We should not lose hope because God and his son are behind us. But like our founding fathers, we must risk everything to preserve this nation. And while you may look around and say, hey, look, we still have riches. I can go to the golf course. I can go play tennis. I can go, uh, in effect, anywhere I want. That's not going to be true for your children and grandchildren. It's all going to be gone. And that's why we must rise up now. Apparently, there are people calling me right now saying, Larry, do it. Get the job done. Lead us. I will play my role in leading us back to the promised land, and you have to play your role in doing the same thing. So I want to God bless you and God bless your family. God's going to do it, not me. But remember, God helps those that help themselves. Go out and buy my book. It takes a revolution. Forget the scandal industry. Read the Declaration of Independence, and let's get to work. I'll be back tomorrow with another special podcast. Until then, thank you for listening to me. Now, only at Lowe's, get a Samsung 27 cubic foot French door refrigerator. It has 10% more storage and is $700 less. Now just $16.99. Because every weekend is a holiday weekend at Lowe's with our everyday special values. Plus, we're offering 12 months special financing for qualifying appliance purchases when you use your Lowe's Advantage card. Credit offer valid through 224, subject to credit approval. Minimum purchase and monthly payments required. Offer valid 24 through 224. See store or Lowe's.com for details, U.S. only. Now, only at Lowe's, get a Samsung 27 cubic foot French door refrigerator. It has 10% more storage and is $700 less. Now just $16.99. Because every weekend is a holiday weekend at Lowe's with our everyday special values. Plus, we're offering 12 months special financing for qualifying appliance purchases when you use your Lowe's Advantage card. Credit offer valid through 224, subject to credit approval. Minimum purchase and monthly payments required. Offer valid 24 through 224. See store or Lowe's.com for details, U.S. only. Now, only at Lowe's, get a Samsung 27 cubic foot French door refrigerator. It has 10% more storage and is $700 less. Now just $16.99. Because every weekend is a holiday weekend at Lowe's with our everyday special values. Plus, we're offering 12 months special financing for qualifying appliance purchases when you use your Lowe's Advantage card. Credit offer valid through 224, subject to credit approval. Minimum purchase and monthly payments required. Offer valid 24 through 224. See store or Lowe's.com for details, U.S. only details.